guys it's wrong coming back at you one more again i hope you are doing good on this lovely marvelous morning if this is your first time coming to my channel welcome namaste love and blessings to you and thank you for the support and many blessings along the way and please if you can can you like and subscribe and even hit that notification button so you know when i'm about to upload my next video and for my returning subs, mwah, thank you for the support as always in the lovely comments you guys always put. And I greatly appreciate all those things. And love and light, namaste, and many blessings to you as well. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101. When you are trying to call upon your Twin Flame. Today I am listening to John Legend's Ordinary People. I was like, I love this song. I'm not ordinary. Ain't nothing about me ordinary. <laughs> but uh, I love that song. It's just especially with the piano and stuff going. But anyways, when you want to reunite in union on the physical realm on earth, on trying to conjure up your twin flame, you call on Archangel Shamuel. That is the uh, angel of love. And if you can, if you have any kind of crystals, the best one to have is a rose quartz. They said that magnifies the uh, the vibration and brings it. It gives it amplifies your your frequency on everything. Trying to bring you and your your twin flame in union. So when you do this, you ask for Archangel uh, Shanuel. You ask them, can you reunite me with my twin flame? and the greatest good in union um and then you say with love and light love and light love and light try to re at least repeat it four to five times love and light and when you do that you clear your thoughts make sure the room is quiet wherever you're at sit your shoulders back and make sure you're very well relaxed and clear your mind while you're thinking about your twin flame and when you do that, when you're holding that rose quartz close to you, your your heart chakras are turning into roses, and they're intertwining. And when you do that, when you're sitting comfortable, you'll make sure you you uh, with your your alignment of your back, so everything's straight. Make sure you imagine it like going into the roots of the earth, like all in the center of the earth, so. And it's coming right back up into a big ball of light. It's kind of like when you do the Violet Frame Flame Prayer. If you have not heard that, you can go down into one of my in the playlist on my, my channel and you can see how I do the Violet Flame Prayer if you never did that. Um, and while you're doing that, you think about your um, your twin flame. And when you're doing that, God is is like you're you're seeing that blessing. Basically, it's like you're getting married and it's like you're asking God for that blessing to reunite you guys on earth because it's some sometimes you guys could be way on the other side of the earth or you know in a different country you never know it's just different twin flames can be all over the place um so when you do this and you're basically your heart chakras intertwined and you have that rose force which to amplify your frequencies um it's basically asking god for that permission and then you wait for a while and while you're doing that you just keep imagining that light getting bigger and bigger and bigger so when god comes back and you receive that blessing it'll come back to you and while you're imagining that big light it's like that blessing will come and then you wait for the divine timing and it's, it's all on god's blessing you will finally get your twin flame so i hope you guys were able to get that um, I will be making a part two on things to know about your twin flames and the things that you go through. Because there's some stuff I've been going through that's really kind of crazy. But I will talk to you guys later. Peace and be wild. And please like and subscribe. Hit the notification button. Even hit that bell. And even drop a comment. Hit me up. And I will talk to you later. Peace and be wild.